Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I will do review and demo of SEO crawl application. I will demo all of the features on a live website and I own this deal myself. So you will be able to understand if you need this deal or not. At the moment SEO crawl is available as early Black Friday special and you can have it as low as $19 for a few days until November 19th. And I believe the price will increase after that date. And also I think SEO crawl will go away after Black Friday event. Regarding features, I will demo all of those in a moment. And regarding the deal structure, basically you have several license tier options. The major difference will be in monthly clicks that you project to have from Google search results. And maximum what you can have is 10 million clicks from Google search console. So I believe even the license tier one will be a great start and maybe license tier two a safe choice for a ramping up website, but please see what kind of clicks and impressions you currently see in your Google search console. And before we actually do a demo of SEO crawl, I would like to provide you with the details of what SEO crawl is not providing. So we are not confused with SEO part in the name. So it is more of search engine optimization reports, not actual SEO optimization tool. And first of all, to optimize your content, you will need a search engine optimization tool like NeuronWriter, for example, so you can optimize your content for LSI keywords. And you will still need to have a technical SEO optimization tool, for example, like RankMath for WordPress, which will allow you to submit sitemaps for your website so it will be indexed on Google, you will still need these kind of tools. And now we are getting to SEO crawl dashboard. So what is SEO crawl? It is a better, more visually appealing representation of your Google Search Console data and Google Analytics data. So it is a great reporting software. So let's begin our demo. I have connected SEO crawl to my niche website. So let's actually see what kind of reports we can get. On the main dashboard, we can see statistics by the clicks and comparing it year to year, forecast, trend and goals. So for this website, I didn't put a lot of effort there lately. So we can see downwards trend actually. Moving next, we can see performance by clicks, by impressions. We can check click through rates. And average position, I believe it is about all of the keywords, but I'm not sure. We can also change the date range. So when you select date range, you actually can select two, the main one and a date range to compare to. So for example, here we can see two lines for different dates and you can see all of that on one graph. Moving next, you are given some insights about your keywords, top changes by pages, top performing keywords, which we can see here. Moving below, we can see statistics for clicks, impressions, and other ones divided by tags, which you can assign to your keywords. So the first data source, which I showed you, is coming from Google Search Console, which you will need to connect to be able to get all of that data. And you can connect Google Analytics too. So you will have additional insights about how your website is performing. For example, you can see user and session acquisition, graphs. So let's move next. Next feature, annotations. It is a very interesting and convenient feature to have. Here we have listed major changes from Google and we can see how it impacted the popularity of our website. For example, in regards of clicks, impressions or click the rate or average position of our keywords. And if we will click on a particular update, then we will get even more detailed information. First of all, we will have a link to the update itself. For example, here is this particular update details. So you can understand how major changes from Google site affect popularity of your website. So moving next to performance. So here in more detailed way, you will see how many clicks are you getting from Google search. You will see major Google updates on a timeline. You can get statistics by clicks, impressions. 
and you can compare two periods on the same graph. If we will scroll down, we will see more information. There is Queries tab where you can see queries entered in Google search. We can click on a particular one and get more insights about a particular query or keyword. Also, you might see some tags were added automatically, or you can add your own tags for a particular keyword. You can also get statistics by pages or by countries or by devices. And for example, for queries, you can click on heat map and get additional visual representation of your numbers. So moving next to rank tracker and first of all to keywords. And here it is. The detailed statistic about the keywords, clicks that you're getting, impressions, average click-through rates. So you can get additional insights about how keywords that you target are performing. And of course, you can check a particular keyword. Moving next to Rank Tracker Pages. So at the Pages section, I believe there will be top keywords sourcing traffic to this page. Moving next to Folders. So here, if your site has a folder structure, I believe it will show statistics about folders. At the Rank Tracker Tags section, you can see statistics about your tags. For example, there could be keywords which are questions, so you can check statistics specifically for those ones. At the Rank Tracker Countries, you can get more detailed statistics country by country regarding your clicks, impressions, click-through rate, and average positions. Moving to Keyword Map, so here it is, another representation, another slice of data. You can see a particular keyword, then months by months statistics for your clicks, impressions, and click-through rates. Go next to URL Map. Here you can find same clicks, impressions, click-through rates, but for the URLs that you have on your website. Yet another feature, brand versus non-brand. And conveniently enough, SEO crawl team provides an explanation guide about brand versus non-brand traffic. So moving next to new feature, indexation. So I didn't see that feature before. So the feature is new and I believe it will show the indexation progress for your new pages. I might be wrong here, but for this niche website, there are no new pages being added. All right, moving to another feature, visibility. So here you can view yet another feature for the keywords. For example, you can see keywords distribution, like what amount of the keywords are in top three, in top 10, top 20, top 50, top 100. And one important thing that with this rank tracker and visibility feature, you are not able to add your own keywords and this data is coming from Google Search Console and Google Analytics. So here, the keywords for which you are already ranking will be shown. So scrolling down and here is another table. For example, keywords which are on positions between fourth and tenth. And again, clicks, impressions and click through rate statistics for a particular time frame. Let's check another view changes. And yet another table, yet another view on your clicks, impressions, and click-through rate. Now in terms of increase, and we can see what is decreasing for a particular time frame that we select here. As well, let's check new and lost keywords. And here it is. For last 90 days, we've got 166 new keywords. And again, this is the detailed statistics about that. Okay, moving next to inside cannibalization. And with this cannibalization metric, you will be able to see how your top keywords are spread across website. For example, if you would like by keyword name checkup, people to be guided to only their landing page, then you can see what other pages people are finding by this particular keyword. So I believe that's what it means here. So moving next to opportunities. So I believe here you will see major increases in new keywords. So let's say we see 500% increase in this particular keyword. So maybe you would like to add a content specifically targeting this keyword to further improve ranking on this particular one. 
Moving to questions, here you will get detailed statistics about keywords which are considered to be questions. Okay, moving to another feature. So starting from license tier 2, you're getting team management and you will be able to add additional team members who will be able to see all of that statistics. Moving next to tasks. Here for your team members, you will be able to assign some tasks. For example, targeting to improve on particular keyword, moving through different states of the task. Also, you can create backlog of things your team needs to do and you will be able to see your archive of the completed work. Okay, almost done. Moving to crawler feature. Here you will need to add a URL and start test. And then you will be able to get in one place data about health of your website. So I believe it is similar to Google Page Speed Insights. You can see top errors suggested to be fixed, warnings which may impact your technical SEO score. You can go to on page and see errors and warnings. Nice feature to have integrated in the tool. And moving to the last feature, which is called monitor. I didn't use that feature yet, so let's start configuring it. Go next. We can see email notification frequency about changes. So it's actually nice to have some technical SEO capabilities which were not present before. For example, let's see weekly updates about sitemap, if it's okay, about status codes, weekly. Not sure what will be in title, but let's check it. Moving next and run monitor. So I think you will be able to get notifications about changes for a specific topic. For example, maybe you would like as soon as possible get notified about changes related to indexation of your pages. Who knows? So I've just configured it and I don't expect any changes for now. And here are the URLs that SEO Monitor found. I believe this is the complete list for this niche website. So again, nice to have monitoring feature. So you will be able to see reports about changes for these particular parts of the pages. Not sure how it will work. If you will check, for example, analytics, maybe you will be given a summary, let's say monthly about analytics for a specific page. But let's enable it so I can test it later myself. All right, moving to the conclusion. And thank you for staying through this long video. Please also subscribe and give this video a like. So in this video, I wanted to demo you all of the features that SEO crawl provides. As I stated at the beginning, SEO crawl is not meant to improve SEO scores of your content and is not meant to improve technical SEO of your pages. There are some information in the crawler section where you get insights about some technical SEO issues on your pages. However, the main strength of SEO crawl is in better representation of your Google Search Console and Google Analytics data. Especially if you're just starting looking at Google Search Console data or Google Analytics data through Google websites it might be overcomplicated and SEO crawl gives you different insights, different views, different dashboards on your search data. So if you're lucky, you may have a chance to grab this tool on a Black Friday deal. For a few days more, it is available for a flash sale for only $19. And I think through Black Friday event, it will be still available, but for increased price and it will definitely go away from AppSumo after Black Friday. So please check the link to this tool in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.